<laughs> Bye. Peace. It's the Macho Miracle here, aka Dyson, and welcome to a commentary over some Black Ops 2 gameplay on the old PS3. This is an old gameplay of mine on uh, Newtown 2025. Uh, I, was, I don't even remember what game I was playing because I'm not actually looking at the gameplay right now. I just remember how long it is, and uh, I do remember that I go like 35 and 4 or something like that. I'm nowhere near the top of the team or anything like that. I just I think I had the better KD out of everybody, and uh, it was one of those late night matches again where I was like super tired and really didn't know what I was doing. I was just shooting people. Uh, like at the beginning, so you're probably watching it right now, I'm using a small to get kills. Uh, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, anyways, what I want to talk about today is that on Tuesday, which is two days from this uh, commentary that I'm making, so I'm going to upload it on the day this thing can, comes out. So today, today, when I get home from school, I'm going to download a new system update on my PlayStation 4 that will give PlayStation 4 users share play, which means if you have PlayStation pl Plus, like, say, the host, you get into, like, a chat party thing. And I believe this will probably help out the chat party system a little bit more, too. Uh, like, there, I've had problems being able to actually talk with friends because it's, like, NAT-type problems and stuff. But I think maybe this will, it'll be more flexible now. But anyways, um, say I'm the host of the party and I have PlayStation Plus and my friend doesn't, I can still give him control, like virtual control of the game that I'm playing. So like a buddy of mine, he doesn't have Infamous Second Son. I do have Infamous Second Son. I could start, I believe, a new save and he could play this new save for himself and play it. I don't think the trophies go over there. I'm not sure if the trophies, if they can get trophies for the game or, or not. Um, but if they can, that's awesome. Uh, but they don't need the game to actually play it. And uh, then say both people have PlayStation Plus. Say my friend's hosting uh, and he has a game that I don't have. Like, I don't have Madden. My friend does. One of mine does, and we actually plan to do this. Uh, he has Madden. We both have PlayStation Plus. As long as he's the host and has that game, he can choose the option below giving me a virtual controller to take control of the game. He can give me a uh, another controller where I can be a second player for him. And I believe I can play with him, depending on the mode, I guess, in Madden. Or I can play against him. I don't even have to have the game. We can just play together. Uh, which is freaking awesome. That's why it's share play. So basically, uh, it's also a way of getting uh, a chance to try out games that you don't know if you want, but your friend already has it. You can try it out, and if you like it, you can get it. Because my guess is you probably won't be able to get trophies for those games. Uh, makes complete sense because it's not actually your game. You're just playing it uh, from a friend's device, but with your controller and in your chair or couch on your PlayStation on your TV, which is really cool. I mean, that's just that's awesome. The fact that we can do that. And my friends and I, uh, uh, well, I know at least one of my friends, anyways, uh, Austin, that you've probably heard in some funny moments or just some random moments in my Call of Duty videos that I've edited together of him yelling or being mad and stuff like that. Uh, we plan on making some videos with that and we're really excited about it. I told it I told him about it today and he was like, that is awesome. I think they announced it sometime uh, last week, like during the week, I believe is when they announced it. Like uh, Wednesday or Thursday maybe? So like 22nd or 23rd, it might have been announced before that. Well, I mean, they first announced it way before the system came out. But I'm just excited because it's finally here. And there's people who are like, it only took 11 months. Well, I mean, it is a, from, look, from the looks of it, it is a pretty big thing to set up. Like, it takes some time. I understand why that's not a release date thing. Because they probably didn't have it working all uh, as great as they wanted it to when the console first released. Uh, but now it's ready. And it'll be here Tuesday. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a pretty big system update. Oh, and they also showed us how you could uh, get a new hard drive, and it also tells you what kind of hard drive. You know, and they're like, make sure you back up your saves and stuff. My guess is you probably have to install the apps to your games again, like the actual game app, like to 
you know, play the game or like any of your downloadable games, you'll probably have to re-download. But <clears throat> something I've noticed about bigger hard drives, like I had a PS3, I had a 40 gig PlayStation 3. I upgraded it to a 750 gig. Downloading stuff was uh, like probably seven to eight times faster. It was so much faster downloading anything. And it, it was great. Uh, but that one, that old PS3 I got, that one was a lemon, like for real. Just just a lemon of a PS3. It, it's disc reader broke one time, we got that sent in and fixed, and it got three yellow lights of death. Death, sorry, not dead. Um, yeah, so four times it broke down. Uh, had a PlayStation fix them all four times, and it still just, it did it whenever it did it. It's third time to yell out of death, the fourth time it messed up. We're just like, screw it, I don't need to, we're not messing with it anymore. Uh, I mean, I'd love to get it fixed. It does have a 750 gig hard drive in it. Um, but that's not the problem. We made sure that wasn't the problem. It was the exact kind that is allowed in the system. Uh, it's the exact kind of the 40 gigabyte. It's just bigger, more space. Um, it's, yeah, it's, we, we made sure that it wouldn't mess it up. And after it did mess up, we were like, crap, is it the hard drive? No, it wasn't the hard drive, actually. So I was like, okay, uh, then I don't know why this is doing that. So I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that, at least. Uh, and then, because uh, I just, I couldn't wait anymore. Uh, uh, I play a lot of Xbox 360. I played like a lot of Halo 4 when it happened, uh, like the third time it broke. So second yellow line of death. <laughs> uh, but then I ended up just buying myself a new PS3. I got the Slim, and then the last time it broke, my little brother was the one playing it, and he just bought himself the God of War Edition PS3, which was all the God of War games. It's a red, super slim PS3. It's freaking great. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm totally excited for this share play thing. It's going to be so awesome. And on the same day, today, the game for only Xbox One made by Insomniac Games, the people who created Spyro the Dragon, they didn't continue the series, I think they made the first two, uh, they made Ratchet and Clank, they also made Resistance, and they made that game called Fuse, but no, I don't think a lot of people liked that game. And now they've made Sunset Overdrive, and it's an Xbox One exclusive. Fuse was their first for both PlayStation and Xbox. But uh, yeah, they made an Xbox ex exclusive, and there's a lot of PlayStation people who are kind of like fanboys who were kind of mad about it. Me, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to get an Xbox One anyways for its exclusives, and <laughs> that's one of them that I'm getting it for. So uh, yeah, I plan on getting that. I'm getting the bundle one where the Xbox One is white, uh, so I cannot wait to play that game. And for the share play on PlayStation 4, it's freaking great. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, I love your faces. Bye-bye. Uh,